What up guys, 32 Icon here. Um, I hope you all doing well. I wanna compare two holsters that I have here. One is from Vetters that I've had almost a year now. And the other is Stealth Gear that I've had for <clears throat> maybe about three months or so. And um, just to start off there, you know, I wasn't given these holsters. Um, I actually paid out of pocket. I can't remember. I think this is the light tuck holster from Vetter. And it was about maybe 60 bucks plus a little extra for the design, the Cryptek design. And I think I paid about 60 or so for the Stealth Gear Revolution um, holster. And this may have been 60 bucks plus shipping if I'm not mistaken. So um, I pay for both of them and I love them both. They're excellent holsters. And we're gonna start with the uh, Vetter's holster. So this is their light tuck holster. It's an inside the waistband holster. And when I say that I really enjoy this holster, I do. All the edges of the holster is very smooth out. Uh, very soft. It's like they took their time to individualize the holster to uh, the specific gun. The gun I have for this holster is the MMP uh, MMP nine full size. And so, uh, just so you can see, oops, hold on, let me see. Here. Just so you can see it. Okay, it goes in and it snaps very audible okay um and for the most part i just had to adjust it a little bit when i got it from the company but it snaps right in and it covers the trigger guard and i love it all right the clip on here is really sturdy it's pretty thick has a nice ride height and a cant if you want to adjust it also you can tighten it uh if you want this just a little tighter so to make it snap just a little um, I guess more crisp, but I will say when I first received this holster, if you can see right here, may not be able to see, but there's a little scratch right there when I first got this holster and I started drawing and reholstering and it scratched it. I was pretty upset that it did that because, you know, it was my first gun and I didn't want that to happen, but what I did was I put a little gun oil in here with the microfiber cloth, and I just put it all down here, right in here, and I worked the gun back and forth, and I haven't had any more scratches since then. So now that's what I do for all my holsters. Even with this one, I do the same thing. I put a little oil in here, and actually this, when Stealth Gear sends you this holster from the factory, it actually comes with uh, their, I think that it comes with a little bit of oil already inside. And so I just work it in and then I wash it out and it works perfectly fine. So, but I wanted to say that because it really bugged me in the beginning. For some people, they may say, you know, stop being a baby. That's just a little scratch. But, you know, I like to take care of my guns. Um, and in fact, this, you know, just so you know, this has been cleared and we're, we're safe. But, um... I do like to take care of my my gun, so when I scratched it, I was a little upset about it. But anyway, this holster works really well for me, and it's, it is very light. I think that's why they call it the light tuck, and um, I couldn't be more pleased with it. So it doesn't, it has the sweat shield here to ride against my body, and by the way, I'm left-handed. And I don't know if you can see this, but inside it says vetter right there i don't think that's coming up on the camera but it says vetter and it's a it's a nice touch um last thing about this too i end up something happened with the screws here i think i cross threaded them or something and i couldn't get them out and so vetter sent me a new package full full of uh screws and they said you know try this maybe it'll it adjust it'll work and it still wouldn't come out so they allowed me to ship the old holster back and 
They sent me this new one, free of charge, didn't even have to pay for shipping, sent it right back. Um, so this is their most updated one. And also my M&P 2.0 fits it just the same. Ready, snap? Perfect. And this is the, the 2.0. So if you can see, 2.0 is a little smaller than the full size. But the but this is the Gen 1 and this is the Gen 2. But they both fit this holster perfectly. Okay? It's it's perfect. So I haven't I didn't have to get a, another holster. Again, the 2.0 comes to about maybe right here. So I have a little extra, but I'm okay with that. I'm not gonna spend another 60 bucks on a holster that serves two purposes for me. So that's that. Um let me show you guys the stealth gear. So, with the stealth gear revolution, this is an inside the waistband holster, but it's hybrid and it has two clips here. And it they're plastic. It's not like the metal clips on the Vetter. But so far, they've held up really well. And this backing, I believe, is called their Neoprene, I think. And it's water resistant, sweat resistant. Um, just resist a lot of moisture and let me demonstrate that for you real quick. I'm going to grab some water here and I'm just going to dip this in here and this is probably not the best bowl to do this demonstration, but I just want to show you how the water just runs off of the, of the material. And if I get a cloth here and dry it up, it's, it's almost as if it's, uh, it wasn't even wet. So it just, it just completely comes off and perfect, almost like it runs off the Kydex, Kydex um, and it also runs off the neoprene. So I like this and from the camera view, it might look like the screw, the screws here are kind of protruding but they're not it's very soft against my skin very soft but I always wear an undershirt I wear a, a t-shirt uh, most of the time but I put it up against my skin and it's it feels great I haven't had any issues with it at all so I like that it's also light it's very light um I want to say probably the same way I don't have a scale here but probably the same weight. And I use my stealth gear for my G19. Uh, it's been cleared, just so you know. Um, so when I put it in, this also has an audible um, click or a snap, like the Vetter. And I put it in, not as audible as the Vetter. So, you can see here, I always make this mistake. Put it in. That's pretty loud, as opposed to kind of quiet. But, it also works. Let me show you something real quick. Um, just give me one second. I was going to show you that my um, CZ P10C also um, fits in this, but I actually have the the light on it, so I don't I don't feel like unscrewing it and taking it out. But it also fits this holster. Um, obviously, CZ came out with the P10C for the competition. I meant to um, be competitive against Glock, so it fits a lot of the Glock holsters. I want to show you that, but I don't feel like unscrewing that. But Nonetheless, it still works, and I love the brand. I like that uh, I haven't had any trouble with it. They're easy to adjust, and Stealth Gear, they actually have good customer service. I had a situation with them where I had to take back an older holster. It was uh, Onyx because the fabric I thought was a little too thick, but um, and then they, I got this one, but 
it was easy breezy and you know I didn't have any issues with it also if you can I think I in here they have I think I went over this they have two clips and it's steady but this one has one clip they're both inside the waistband but one clip because it's kydex and two clips because it's hybrid so that's the difference and I love them both they have come in handy I haven't had any problems with them and I will order from them again and I do plan on ordering from them again but I also don't want to have a drawer full of uh <laughs> full of holsters too so outside of that either one you can't go wrong with you will like them both they both serve their purposes uh the onyx version of this is with a different backing Maybe it's not the neoprene. It could be another back, and I, I might be getting them mixed up. But it's way more expensive. They might run around $109 if you don't catch a sale. So you're going to pay for stealth gear. You're going to pay a decent amount for vetters. Both great quality. I like them. I'm comfortable with them. But um, if you want to spend just a little bit more money, you can get the other version of this. Or... You can get this for like I paid 60 bucks or something like that. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope this was a little help if you are still deciding between both of the holsters. You can't go wrong with either one of them. And they both have great customer service from my experience they have. So I hope this helps you in the future. And uh, if you like this video, please like Always appreciate the thumbs up and subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.